favorite clips again big up the fire and the kids subreddit guys for uploading it i'm not gonna show you the title because i want you to be surprised by it but it is a fire and the kid clip so let me play for you because this is a good representation of just how far this guy's star has fallen because what the fuck is he talking about he even made theo uncomfortable right and theo is a, is the expert of awkward uncomfortable you know weird comedy and he even made Theo uncomfortable in this fucking exchange. 23 seconds or something. Hear this. Comedians are like Jews. Comedians and Jews suffer when things start to go sideways, right? Because the Jews always suffer because when things go sideways, people hate successful minorities. Yeah. And so when a society starts to be Jews suffer if they eat yogurt too, yeah. dude. Most of my buddies. I think they're just... Uh, my buddy you think Aaron, it's just built into the structure yeah, of existence. Yeah, my buddy Aaron has to take a couple of digestive pills every time he has it, but... Theo had to rescue it with a really good joke at the end but what the fuck is fucking Kermit the Frog talking about here one more time comedians are like Jews comedians and Jews suffer when things start to go sideways right because the Jews always suffer because when things go sideways people hate successful minorities <laughs> comedians are now a minority class they're they're oppressed <laughs> people with <laughs> with a history <laughs> oh oh my god with history comparable to the plight of the jews of jewish people this is what fucking jordan b peterson is saying with his whole fucking chest honestly man he he spent too much time with rogan because Rogan will tell you that there's only 1,000 elite Navy SEAL level comedians in the world who all happen to live in America, which is interesting, right? There's only 1,000 comedians, but they're all American. There is no, there's probably one or two English guys, you know, that he's, how come he's podcasts? I always find that funny as well. For, for some reason, Rogan thinks the only good comedians are English speaking comedians. They don't exist very high level funny comedians in other parts of the world. They're only English speaking and they're only from America. So there's only 1,000 of them yet they're also victims they're also a oppressed group of people that need everybody's protection and what's the protection we give them we buy their merch we watch their videos we click on their ads their referral links they go and buy porsches and lamborghinis they go and play five private and when we request them to upload episodes early or to change certain things in the topics or give them some constructive feedback, they then chastise us like Tom Segura did and talk to us like, you know, and blame us for the fact that we're poor and we don't got money and shit. Like that's how they basically want to continue their relationship with us. It's fucking incredible. I fucking love it. I love it. But yeah, Jordan P. Peterson is at Jordan B. Peterson has absolutely lost the plot, man. He looks fantastic. Don't get me wrong. He looks really good now. Um, The Benzo shit has fucking wore down you look like he looks like he's gotten money you know he's out there in exotic locations eating well drinking well he's got on his you know his funky dad suits and shit his granddad suits so he's living well he looks in way better nick than he did previously but he's talking such drivel these days it's kind of sad to be fair because again like i said i used to be a big fan of his i went to one of his fucking talks and speeches he did at the round is it the round somewhere in london i think it's called the round it's near um it's near Trafalgar Square. It's called a round or something. I went to go see him there, sign my book and all shit, that fucking 12 Rules of Life. And then now he's gone off the reservation. So it's fucking hilarious to see that clip. So big up him.